It was introduced here in Belize back in the late 20th century by British soldiers, but faded years later. Since 2014, however, Tony Gillings has been working effortlessly to revive the team sport of rugby in Belize, teaching the football-type sport to youths as young as three. Rugby was never really formally organized in this country. Yes, the troops played it years ago, uh, but never formally organized. Uh, we registered the sport in 2014 um, as Rugby Belize, and it basically started me walking around with a rugby ball, trying to talk to people about rugby, and they'd get the ball and go, hut, hut, and say, no, 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 not America football, it's rugby. Um, and I started coaching kids and started forming teams, and it's just ballooned. The high energy full on contact sport came about in the 19th century by William Webb Ellis, who in the middle of a football match, picked up a ball and ran to the end of the pitch. It started in a town called Rugby in England and after two centuries, finally made its debut in Rio 2016 for the Olympic Games. With this motivation and having expanded the program to several districts, the top players from five teams have been brought together to create the Belize national rugby team. Belize is the last country in the region to get rugby. All of our neighbours have been playing rugby for a long, long time. I mean, our opponents on the 25th Guatemala have been playing rugby since 2006. So there's a long history and tradition of rugby in the region. It's a pity, pity it didn't catch on here initially, but it is now. And so we have clubs in Orange Walk, in Belmapan, St. Ignacio, Belize City, San Pedro. There's another group starting up in Hopkins and a second team starting in Lake Isle in, in Belize City. Similar to American football, but without the helmets and padding, there are rules in the sport that define how a player is tackled. There are also different versions, including touch rugby, where you don't tackle, and full-on tackling rugby, not to mention beach rugby. Rugby sevens is played for a total of 14 minutes with a one minute break for half time. It takes a lot of discipline and has significant social and health benefits. Captain Adrian Tillett says the sport is physically demanding so players should be physically and mentally prepared and understand how to play safely. Rugby is a hooligans game played by gentlemen. There's a lot of actual contact physicality, roughness when it comes to actual defending the ball and the actual play, but once you play it properly, it's actually something that can be very f safe, enjoyable, and entertaining. It's very active, it's very fast, and it keeps you extremely fit. Um, a lot of people think it's, it gets you um, injured a lot, but that's not actually the truth. It's very easy to get to mix up full contact with what rugby actually um, involves. It's actually about support from your teammates, getting rid of the ball before you get hit, and scoring tries. At any point in the game, there are seven players on the team, except for when there is a penalty. There are two props, a hooker, a scrum half, a fly half, the center, and the winger till it plays prop one position, while 19-year-old Chris Ramclam is the hooker. He tackles the bigger players from the opposing team in the high-energy sport. My job is to being a part of the, some of the important plays. For example, you have the scrums, uh, which is just a combination of all the forwards, which is the two props, and then the hooker, we go down in a position and we fight for the ball. Uh, also, you have the line outs where they, I'm lifted in the air, the ball is thrown in the middle of our lines, and I'm supposed to catch the ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, as I said before, I'm supposed to be one of the fast guys of the forwards. So uh, when my props, the bigger guys, get the ball and they pass it down to me, it's either my job to run forward or get the ball down to the end of the line. So aside from the traditional football, soccer, basketball, softball, and even track and field, young athletes can now venture into rugby, another sporting discipline now available in country. The goal, says Rugby Belize President Tony Gillings, is for the country to qualify for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games in rugby. The long-term goal is to take a team to the Paris 2024 Olympics and to bring back the very first Olympic medal for Belize. Now Fiji did it. They never have any medals in any Olympics they've been to. Same as Belize, we've been since 1929, no medal. We will bring back the first medal to this country from the Olympic Rugby Sevens tournament. In the meantime, the team prepares for the Central American, the Pan American and the Commonwealth Games in Rugby Sevens. 
Dwayne Moody for News 5.